Hi, my name is Roger Schlater. Uh, this video is actually about personal ways to finance a business, and it will it will be a little different than the uh, than than the bank um, format. So anyway, um, th this is really the second of a five-part video set on financing your business. Uh, the five parts are bank financing, uh, personal ways, which is this one, other financing, um, crowdfund crowdfunding, and peer-to-peer -peer financing, other equity and incubator financing. So anyway, um, this one, like I said, is actually on personal ways to finance a business. Um, how to finance your business loan with what I call personal ways to finance your business. These ways are often overlooked when a business is looking for financing. Um, a lot of times they just want to look at a bank. Um, so anyway, the video will cover eight ways to finance your business. Um, the uh, first way is really selling assets. I mean, these assets can be business assets or personal assets. I mean, this could be selling things that you no longer use anymore or selling items of value, you know, to get extra money to finance your business. Uh, this could be, you know, as, as, as little as like camping equipment that you don't use anymore. Maybe it's a coin collection or maybe, you know, it's some stock that's not interesting to you anymore, or at least not interesting as your business is. Um, that would be number one, really anything you have of value that you want to sell uh, to get cash to go ahead and put in your business. Uh, the second way would be life insurance cash value. Uh, some people almost, or some people or a lot of people have life insurance policy that is accumulating a cash value. Uh, this is usually just on whole life policies and universal life insurance. Um, you can borrow from the insurance company on this if you have a cash value, or you can borrow from a bank who will use the policy as collateral. Um, term life usually does not have a cash value. Um, so it just kind of depends on what kind of insurance you have. Uh, remember, this is not the face value of the insurance. Like, let's say you have a $100,000 policy, and, and that's the, the face value of it. It's actually the cash value of the policy. And there's a lot of policies that will, over time, they will, they will add to that cash value every year, and pretty soon it will be a substantial amount. Um, I actually had a, um, a, a client one time who was having trouble financing some real estate he had or he wanted to buy. And I said, well, did you ever, you know, look at the cash value of your life? I said, do you have life insurance? And he said, yeah, uh, pretty much. And I said, well, does it have a cash value? And he said, well, yeah, I'll check. And he ended up going that way. I kind of talked myself out of, a, out of a loan and I did work for a bank at the time. But anyway, um, yeah, I think he used the cash value at least at least for the down payment, if not the whole loan. So it wasn't that large of a loan. Um, the third way would be personal savings. Uh, the personal savings that you have accumulated over the years in some sort of an account. The problem with this is you've probably already used this in your business. Um, so if you've already used it in your business, kind of hard to use it again. So anyway, you know, savings accounts are usually the first thing somebody uses. So that, you know, it just depends whether you thought about that or not or or, or maybe you did think about it and you didn't want to use it. So um, the fourth, fourth method would be a second mortgage on your home uh, in order to borrow on, on, on your home. Uh, you really need to have some equity in the real estate. Um, if you can get a second mortgage on your home, the interest will be a lot lower than on a bank loan, usually. And then you can also deduct this interest on your federal tax return. So anyway, you could either, either you could redo the whole loan or do a second mortgage on your home. Um, a HELOC, a home equity loan, it's, it's kind of like that except for what makes this loan good is it is like a line of credit and that the balance can go up and down. Um, if, if you pay it down, then you can reborrow it again. So it's basically like a line of credit. Um, you know, that's that, that you can borrow up on and then you can pay it down and then reborrow again. Um, unlike the traditional line of credit, the loan is usually for a period of time, like five or 10 years. Um, but again, you really need to have equity in your home to be able to do this. Um, number six would be a side business or side gig. Um, having a side hustle or side business is great if you can keep all the money that you make and not spend it on something else. Um, and I'm not talking about your business, it could be, 
but sometimes people do a side business. They'll do maybe work at some company for a while, or or maybe they have some skill that they that they can do. You know, they they can use to to make some extra money. Um, and this is always a good way to amass some money for your business. Um, the seventh, and and you know, we're getting we're getting uh, a little bit, um, I guess, things that are more unlikely to happen. But anyway, this is winning a contest. Um, could be winning a contest for a skill you have, or it could be winning could be winning the lottery. I guess um, I would not count on winning the lottery. Um, sometimes you don't know if you do not try. So you know if there's some contest for something that you feel you do well, um, a lot of times you might as well try and see if you can get some money out of that that way. Um, number eight is borrowing from friends and family. Now there's a reason this is really last on this list. Um, and I've seen it done not with my family, but other families. Um, sometimes if you give them a percent of ownership or some stock in the enterprise, then this can be accomplished. The problem is, is that sometimes families want their money back. And, you know, you probably will not be able to give it back for some time. So that could be, you know, like I said, that can be a problem. Um, the other one, which is kind of the, the normal if you were, you know, I should have put this higher on the list, but it's, boot, it's called bootstrapping. And it's basically, you know, you basically try to pull yourself up by your own bootstraps, so to speak, and you try to finance this with monies you have and then monies you, that you are going to create with the business. Um, you know, this is, this is a very slow way to grow a business. And, uh, you know, sometimes you just need the money to get it off the ground. So sometimes this doesn't work. So anyway, um, and like I said, you, you need, you know, um, you know, to work. Uh, I, I know the friends and family thing. I don't think it'd work in my family. <laughs> I don't, I'm pretty sure it won't, but I have seen some families do it. Anyway, uh, most of the items on this list are possible, but you have to either have, you know, for the insurance, you got to have a whole life policy with a cash value, you know, or, or, or you know, and then for the, for the uh, mortgage or uh, second mortgage or for the uh, HELOC, uh, you really do have to have equity in your home. Um, but these are ideas to think about. You know, it's it's not an end all, you know, any one of these. So anyway, this business or this video has, has been a second part of a five part series on uh, videos on financing a small business. And really, I kind of did this because I kind of thought about a lot of the, you know, as you go on, you kind of do more specific videos. And it's like some people just need to know what's available, you know, how they can finance their business and not look at a specific, you know, like the SBA 7A program or something. They just wanted some ideas on how to finance this business. And this is what this five part series is really all about. Um, so anyway, and then after they've all been released, they'll be put together in a playlist uh, for any small business looking for financing. Um, Anyway, uh, please subscribe to this channel if you like this type of content um, and hit the bell to be notified on future videos. Um, if you learned anything, I hope you also hit the like button because that does help YouTube to, to really expand this video's presence on YouTube. Anyway, uh, my name is Roger Schleter and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.